Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in Microsoft Edge, if you are using the browser, you may well know that there is a feature that lets you navigate back and forward with a swipe gesture. So on your touchpad, on your laptop as an example, or if you are using a touch screen, you can navigate by just swiping left and right between different pages, as you can see. So I'm just going backwards and forwards. And for some, that can be useful, especially if you are maybe on a touchscreen device. And for others, this can be an annoying feature. So because of the fact that this, um, for some users, is a little bit annoying and could be a bit distracting, in Edge Canary 128, which is the latest preview version, Microsoft now has added a toggle to let you disable overscroll history navigation. Basically, that's what the feature is all about. And if we head to our settings in Edge Canary 128, it's part of the accessibility uh, section. And if we scroll down just a bit under Make Microsoft Edge Easier to Use, you'll see a new toggle, Swipe Between Pages. Navigate back and forward with a swipe gesture. Now, this is toggled on by default. And uh, obviously, it does exactly the same. So if we just head into just set up two pages, we can navigate between. So there we go. You get the idea. I can swipe left and I can swipe right. So left, back, right, forward. Now, if we head into the accessibility section once again and we toggle that off, you can see now if I try and swipe backwards and forwards, nothing happens. So I think this is a nice move. And this has now been tested in Edge Canary 128. Now, although this swiping backwards and forwards um, is available in the stable version, the toggle, this toggle, is not available. So you can't turn this feature off uh, in the stable version. And as far as I know, there is a flag available um, that will let you turn it off um, without using the toggle. But as mentioned, uh, flags, experimental flags can come and go like the weather. So it may be there today, it may be there tomorrow, but there is no actual default toggle to turn this feature off uh, in the stable version. So I think uh, Microsoft here is thinking of pushing this out to stable and I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, there's no reason why this wouldn't make it to stable and I think this is a nice move. And just on a side note, if you're also using Google Chrome, you can do exactly the same in Google Chrome. The same feature is available in Google Chrome, which rolled out a couple of uh, months ago to Google Chrome. And this is available uh, in the stable version of Chrome. So Microsoft has a little bit of catching up to do when it comes to enabling and disabling this feature with a default setting. So the same happens in Chrome. You can see I can navigate backwards and forwards. And if I turn the feature off, the same applies. You can actually turn that feature off. So a small but yet, especially if you are using a touchscreen device, um, that may be, as I would say, a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.